My idea is called mobile phone journalism for floods and climate change. Despite the fact that there is a high smartphone mobile, mobile phone adoption in Uganda, the youth are not yet able to tell the heart of the floods and the climate change story live and locally as it's happening. I'm Egole Julius from the Uganda Red Cross Society. The rainy season leaves our communities worried due to the continuous and endless suffering caused by floods characterized by property loss, death, and temporal abandonment of homes helplessly since homes are filled with water. Yet, amidst all these de devastations, the local volunteers unite to innovate and invent floods and climate resilient practices like urban farming. However, what is intriguing is that these communities lack a cheap, accessible, and a reliable medium of reporting these stories. The fact is that they only access mainstream media which is discriminating in nature. For example, becoming a journalist takes up to three years in the, in the university after paying large sums of money. Once called upon, the media journalist may appear or may not appear depending if they have transport facilitation. This limits the heart of the climate story. It's upon this background that I believe that training communities on adoption of community journalism to report floods and climate change issues and stories using their own mobile smartphones and share them out on various social media platforms for engagement will not only mobilize collective participation in climate change reporting, but also skill communities in telling the heart of the climate change and the flood story. In the whole of last week, I was busy consulting with the Uganda Red Cross volunteers and staffs, community-based organizations, people living with disabilities and youth groups. I was able to collect important information about my idea, organized it into spreadsheets, and asked the respondents to build Mighty Maps. This helped me refine my idea. I then tested the prototype using group interviews and used individual and focus group discussions to give feedback to the community. My idea will involve mob mobilizing of, of community diverse groups like the youth, local leaders, among others, who will be trained into creation of real-time content by skilling them in responsible climate reporting, digital literacy, and online safety. Practical sessions like live streaming on, on social media like Facebook, YouTube, X, will also be trained photo and video editing and sharing them out on social media will also be among the tools trained. This will enable communities to capture news as it, it unfolds, hence amplifying the floods and climate stories using compelling and emotional photos and videos. My idea will also include a website that will be used to profile and document climate and flood stories. It will also include contributors registrations, online safety training, and it will also include the government of Uganda and the Uganda Red Cross Department of Climate and Disaster Management toll-free numbers. Besides that, e-waste management will also be some of the tips that will be on the website. My idea stands out since it will lead to increased climate global connectivity through social media and our website reduce the cyber security threats among the climate reporters and e-waste management. Besides that, it will also connect the Uganda Red Cross Society and the government of Uganda to the communities. This will help communities work towards improved and safe digital climate futures where the negative impacts are minimized. After the prototype process, I was able to redefine the problem statement from reporting for only floods to including other climate change stories. Since we found out that communities suffer from other climate change issues apart from floods and they enjoy the opportunities 
like urban farming. We found out that there was no climate change and floods database that documented stories, reports, and advocates online. Therefore, in this phase of funding, I would love to develop and host a website if given chance. With the futures of contributors' logins, climate story listings, among others. We also found out that climate advocates suffer from digital violence, cyberbullying, and e-waste management. Therefore, in this phase of funding, I would love to train the climate advocates in being digitally safe, e-waste management, for example, recycling of the, of the electronic waste, both physically and through our website, if I'm given chance. We also found out that there is no connectivity between the people and the authorities. Therefore, in this phase of funding, we shall include the government of Uganda and the Uganda Red Cross toll-free climate and disaster response numbers, which is 0800100350 and 0800211088. In our website, in order to bridge the gap between the responders and the victims of floods and climate disasters, I see a huge potential in my idea since it will support communities prepare for a safe digital climate futures where digital inclusion, online safety, and global connectivity will contribute towards a safe and inclusive cities with climate opportunities to thrive in. Inev, thank you.